Time Capsule A time capsule is a historic cache of goods or information, usually intended as a method of communication with future people and to help future archaeologists, anthropologists, or historians. Time capsules are sometimes created and buried during celebrations such as a world's fair, a cornerstone laying for a building, or at other events. Background Time capsules are placed with the intention that they will be opened or accessed at a future date. One of the earliest time capsules known was discovered in November 30, 2017 in Burgos, Spain. A wooden statue of Jesus Christ had hidden inside it a document with economic, politic and cultural information, written by Joaquin Mingues, chaplain of the Cathedral of Burgo d'Osma in 1777. An early example of the use of a time capsule was the Detroit Century Box. The brainchild of Detroit Mayor William C. Maybury, it was created on the 31st of December, 1900, and scheduled to be opened 100 years later. It was filled with photographs and letters from 56 prominent residents describing life in 1900 and making predictions for the future, and included a letter by Maybury addressed to the mayor of Detroit in 2000. The capsule was opened by city officials on the 31st of December, 2000. In a ceremony presided over by Mayor Dennis Archer, the 1939 New York World's Fair time capsule was created by Westinghouse as part of their exhibit. It was 90 inches long, with an interior diameter of 6.5 inches, and weighed 800 pounds. Westinghouse named the copper, chromium and silver alloy cubaloy, claiming it had the same strength as mild steel. It contained everyday items such as a spool of thread and doll a book of record, a vial of staple food crop seeds, a microscope and a 15-minute RKO Pathé Pictures newsreel. Microfilm spools condensed the contents of a Sears Roebuck catalog, dictionary, almanac, and other texts. This first modern time capsule was followed in 1965 by a second capsule at the same site, but 10 feet to the north of the original. Both capsules are buried 50 feet below Flushing Meadows Park, site of the fair. Both the 1939 and 1965 Westinghouse time capsules are meant to be opened in 6939. More recently, in 1985, Westinghouse created a smaller, plexiglass shell to be buried beneath the New York Marriott Marquis Hotel, in the heart of New York's theater district. However, this time capsule was never put in place. The Crypt of Civilization at Oglethorpe University, intended to be opened in 8113, is generally regarded as the first modern time capsule, although it was not called one at the time. George Edward Pendray is responsible for coining the term time capsule. During the socialist period in the USSR, many time capsules were buried with messages to a future communist society. Currently, four time capsules are buried in space. The two Pioneer plaques and the two Voyager Golden Records have been attached to spacecrafts for the possible benefit of spacifers in the distant future. A fifth time capsule, the Kyo satellite, was scheduled to be launched in 2015 to 2016. However, it has been delayed several times and an actual launch date has not been given. After launch, it will carry individual messages from Earth's inhabitants addressed to Earthlings around the year 52,000. When it is due to return to Earth, it is widely debated when time capsules were first used but current evidence shows it was used as early as 1876. However, the principle is fairly simple and the idea and first use of time capsules could be much older than we currently know. In 2014, a revolutionary era time capsule was found at the Massachusetts State House dating to 1795 and credited to Samuel Adams and Paul Revere. It was previously opened in 1855 with some contents added. A time capsule dating 1777 was discovered within a religious statute in Sotillo de la Ribera. The International Time Capsule Society was created to maintain a global database of all existing time capsules. Criticism. According to time capsule historian William Jarvis, most intentional time capsules usually do not provide much useful historical information. They are typically filled with useless junk, new and pristine in condition, that tells little about the people of the time. Many time capsules today contain only artifacts of limited value to future historians. Historians suggest that items which describe the daily lives of the people who created them, 
such as personal notes, pictures, and documents, would greatly increase the value of the time capsule to future historians. If time capsules have a museum like goal of preserving the culture of a particular time and place for study, they fulfill this goal very poorly in that they, by definition, are kept sealed for a particular length of time. Subsequent generations between the launch date and the target date will have no direct access to the artifacts and therefore these generations are prevented from learning from the contents directly. Therefore, time capsules can be seen, in respect to their usefulness to historians, as dormant museums. Their release is timed for some date so far in the future that the building in question is no longer intact. Historians also concede that there are many preservation issues surrounding the selection of the media to transmit this information to the future. Some of these issues include the obsolescence of technology and the deterioration of electronic and magnetic storage media, and possible language problems if the capsule is dug up in the distant future. Many buried time capsules are lost, as interest in them fades and the exact location is forgotten or they are destroyed within a few years by groundwater. Archives and archival materials, including videos, might be the best types of time capsules, as long as the medium can still be used, or the data can be read by the latest technologies and software. In media, the 1947 docudrama The Beginning or the End is a semi-historical account of the creation of the first atomic bomb during World War II. The film begins with staged newsreel footage of the scientists and officers involved in the project burying a time capsule in Redwood National Forest in California. The capsule contained a copy of the film, along with a projector to view it on, and instructions for its operation set on a metal sheet. The purpose of the capsule was in line with the film's title, about whether humanity will destroy itself now that it has the ability to, or whether it will rise above war as a whole and come together to use nuclear power for greater purposes. The film can be seen as an example of Cold War propaganda. The 2009 dramatic film Knowing involves a time capsule being placed in the ground by an elementary school in 1959, after staring into the sun. A girl begins to hear voices and later begins to frantically write an incoherent set of numbers down onto a page that she is supposed to be writing a letter to a student in the future with. The capsule is sealed and opened in 2009 where the character John Kerstler realizes that the list of numbers correlates to the dates and death tolls of major disasters, such as the 11th of September attacks, the Lockerbie bombing, and other events resulting in mass death which occurred after the time capsule was buried, after his son Caleb Kerstler receives the letter and brings it home. Bibliography. William Jarvis. Time Capsules. A Cultural History. Jefferson. N.C. McFarland and Company. 2003. ISBN 0. 7864. 1261. 5. Janet Reinhold. A Sampling of Time Capsule Contents. Covina. Car. Future Packaging and Preservation. 2000. ISBN 1-891406-1433. Jones, Ann. 1991404-1433-2-Larry-Richard-Clark-Time-Capsules-The-Why-The-How-The-Where-ISBN-978-1,452,882,560-M-Guzman-A.M.Hine-C.Welch-Eternal-Memory-Long-Duration-Storage-
a bottle containing two copies of the Northam Advertiser newspaper and several coins was laid in a cavity beneath a foundation stone. Contemporary, in celebration of its golden jubilee, Epping Boys High School of Sydney buried a time capsule in the foyer of its library, in 2007, to be unearthed in the centenary year. A previous time capsule was buried in 1982 to celebrate the Silver Jubilee. The town of Cora in central western New South Wales contained a time capsule which was buried near a sculpture of an eagle in the park not far from the town's information centre. The capsule was opened in the year 2000 on an unspecified date. Although the sculpture remains, there is no mention of the time capsule once buried there. A time capsule is also located at Nailsworth Primary School in South Australia being planted in 2001 to be opened in 2025. This capsule was planted to replace the 1977 capsule opened the same year. A time capsule is also present on the grounds of Melbourne High School in Victoria. A time capsule on Canberra's City Hill was unveiled on the 11th of March 2013 to commemorate the city's centenary. It is to be unsealed in 2113. On the 22nd of February 2018, the Sunshine Coast Council concluded its celebration of the 50th anniversary of the naming of the Sunshine Coast by burying a historic time capsule. The capsule contains a number of reports, documents, and objects from the year previous, and a letter from Mayor Mark Jamieson and 2017 Young Citizen of the Year, Jack Hardy, who was appointed its guardian through to 2067, Austria, Memory of Mankind in Hallstatt. Bermuda, in celebration of its 150th corporate anniversary, Bacardi Limited installed a 1.82 meters x 0.30 meters stainless steel time capsule, encased in a granite cap and cement pedestal, in front of the Bacardi Worldwide headquarters in Bermuda. The capsule was placed in December 2012 and is intended to be opened in 2062. At the company's 200th anniversary, Canada. A geologist left a bottled message in 1959 in a cairn on Ward Hunt Island, allowing its finders in 2013 to determine that a nearby glacier had retreated over 200 feet in 54 years. Inside the head of the world's largest axe in Nukoik, New Brunswick 6 feet underground at the Chinook Center in Calgary, Alberta, to be opened on the 31st of December, 2999-1234 Main Street, Moncton. New Brunswick inside Joseph Salter Memorial, Main Street, Moncton, New Brunswick inside the CN Tower, in Toronto, Ontario, to be opened at the 100 year anniversary in 2076, France, Normandy American Cemetery and Memorial, Iceland, erected in 2014, the monument is located in Reykjavik, Iceland, as of three differently shaped 15 feet tall spires, two made of stone and one metal center pillar, India. Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi had buried a time capsule outside one of the gate of Redfort complex. The Indira Gandhi government named this time capsule Kalpatra, Delhi containing post. Independence history of India on the 15th of August 1972 amid political opposition. It was scheduled to be opened after 1000 years. The next Janata government unearthed it in 1977 but its contents were never made public and were lost. A time capsule was buried in the presence of the President of India near the auditorium of Ayat Kanpur on 6 March 2010. Mahatma Mandir, Gandhinagar containing the history of Indian state of Gujarat marking the 50 years of its foundation. Installed in 2010, Alexandra Girls English Institution, a school in Fort. South Mumbai buried a time capsule in 2014, scheduling it to be opened on the 1st of September 2062, on the bicentennial anniversary of the school. Under the flag holding of Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, a time capsule was buried in the premises of Lovely Professional University, a university located in Jalandha, Punjab on the second day of Indian National Congress. The occasion was attended by Nobel laureates, including biochemist Avram Hershko and physicist Duncan Haldane. They lowered a 8x8 time capsule box made of aluminium and wood with a glass door, 10 feet into the ground, a smartphone. Laptop, central processing unit, a motherboard, hard disk with the latest documentaries and movies, a camera and science textbooks are some of the things that will remain buried for 100 years. 
the area where the capsule has been buried would be cemented and earmarked. Israel, a time capsule was installed under Eretz Israel Museum in Tel Aviv at the 30th of December 1999. It is scheduled to be opened 100 years later. Kazakhstan, in Actor, people of 1967 sent a message showing the chronology of the development of Mangishlak Peninsula with the names of the people who helped to build the town in the desert. The letter was put in a metallic cylinder in a triangular marble urn. It opened in November 2017. Malaysia, Rotary Club Time Capsule Monument is a commemorative monument along Jalan Sultan Ismail in Kuala Lumpur. It was originally located at Datla and Merdeka, but was relocated to Jalan Sultan Ismail around 2016. It comprises a stainless steel column topped with a Rotary International logo. At the base is a black marble encased pedestal under which a time capsule is buried. The monument was erected to celebrate the presence of Rotary in Malaysia since 1929. It was officiated by the mayor of Kuala Lumpur, Tan Sri Dato Kamaruzman bin Sharif. On the 26th of June 2000, Norway, on the 17th of September 2017 near the Polish Polar Station, Pons and the Norwegian Svalbard Archipelago, scientific researchers buried a 60 centimeter stainless steel tube containing samples designed to tell finders as long as half a million years into the future about the current state of knowledge in such areas as geology, biology, and technology. Poland. Prisons from the Auschwitz concentration camp concealed bottles containing sketches and writings that were found after World War II. In 2016, a copper cylinder time capsule dating to 1934 was found beneath the former Nazi training facility in the Ordensburg Krusen C building in Zoszynik, Poland. The time capsule, which contained photographs, newspapers, coins, and two copies of Hitler's Mein Kampf, was retrieved by researchers who navigated through thick concrete, German mines, and groundwater. Russia, in 2012 a time capsule dating from the 15th of July 1979 was found in Vulcany under a statue of Lenin. It contained messages to the Socialist Society in 2024. Singapore. The oldest known time capsule in Singapore was rediscovered in early 2016, beneath the foundation stone of the Cathedral of the Good Shepherd. The shoebox-sized time capsule from the 18th of June 1843 was found to include a prayer booklet and newspapers, and international coins. The capsule is thought to have been buried by French Catholic missionary priests and other founding communities of Singapore. On the 1st of April 1937 a capsule containing coins and newspapers from the time was buried under the foundation stone of the former Supreme Court building with the intention that it be opened in the year 3000. The building now houses the National Gallery Singapore, where the foundation stone can still be seen today. In 1949 the capsule was buried at Anglo-Chinese school containing school magazines, a bible and records of major donors, thought to be lost. The capsule was rediscovered in 2000 with the help of a former student who had attended the burial ceremony. A capsule buried in 1950 under the then Royal Island Club was thought to be lost but later found by construction workers in 2010. It contained photographs and newspapers. In 1970, one of Singapore's founding leaders, Dr. Go Keng Sui laid a copper cylinder containing newspapers and Singapore bank notes from the era, somewhere in the former National Stadium. Unfortunately the location has been lost and metal detectors have failed to find it despite a $50,000 reward on offer. Since 1973, Science Center Singapore has been depositing gadgets and examples of significant technologies in a time capsule inaugurated by then Science and Technology Minister Dr. Todd Chin Chai. The first 112 items deposited included a black and white television receiver, a camera and samples of pig feed. After additional deposits were made in 1983, 2001 and 2013 the original capsule was replaced with a larger stainless steel container that now holds over 800 items in an atmosphere of inert nitrogen gas and the hope that this will better preserve the artifacts inside. The Jurong Town Corporation buried a time capsule under Jurong Town Hall in 1974. When opened in 2001, the capsule was found to contain reports articles and photographs illustrating the industrialization of Jurong. 
In 1975, part of Singapore's contribution to an international ocean exposition held in Okinawa, Japan entitled The Sea We Would Like to See was a research project using floating time capsules. The previous year, 50 small round capsules were released from Raffles Lighthouse as part of a global fleet of 2,800 to measure oceanic tides and currents. Each capsule contained information about the exposition, a goodwill message from a Japanese child and a voucher for a citizen blackie watch to incentivize finders to fill in a postcard with details of where the capsule were found 24 of the capsules released in Singapore were later recovered 1990 saw the unexpected unearthing of a time capsule from the 1950s by contractors working at the demolished American insurance building in Robinson Road. Buried on the 26th of April 1956, the copper canister contained English and Chinese newspapers, a financial report, photographs, posters and an insurance agent's manual. In 2015, a time capsule buried to celebrate Singapore's 25th year of independence was dug up and replaced with one celebrating 50 years as a sovereign nation. The original canister held 88 symbols of progress including a videotape of the 1966 National Day, water from the Singapore River and the first Sarong Kabea uniforms designed by Pierre Balmain for Singapore Airlines in 1968. The replacement capsule, made from stainless steel, was buried by then Deputy Prime Minister Ong Teng Chong outside Empress Place. On 31 August 2005, Singapore Polytechnic buried a time capsule in order to conclude year-long celebrations of its 50th anniversary of its founding in 1954. Located near its main library, it is scheduled to be reopened in 2029 for its 75th anniversary. Items in the time capsule included staff and student admission cards, a CD of 2004's graduation ceremony and a bottle of locally brewed red wine. Spain, an 1,834 time capsule was discovered in 2009 under a statue of Miguel de Cervantes in Madrid. It contains a guide and four volumes of the 1,819 edition of Don Quixote. A time capsule was buried in Motril, Granada. It will be opened on the 22nd of July 2023 to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the cantonal movement. A 1777 time capsule was discovered within a religious statue in Satillo de la Ribera. It contained 200 pages describing details of the political, religious, and economic situation of the region at the time. United Kingdom. King Yassi, Scotland. In August 2015 workers discovered a metal box containing a newspaper from the 29th of September 1894, a paper scroll and a bottle believed to contain whiskey, Macclesfield, Cheshire. In April 2010 an urn container from 1876 was found under a granite slab in the United Reformed Church. The content was perfectly preserved. Newton Aycliffe, County Durham, England. On the 21st of March 2017 a time capsule bearing the name of its creator, James D. Robinson, was sealed at an informal gathering in a local church hall. It was subsequently transferred to the nearby Durham County Record Office, at County Hall, in the city of Durham, where it will reside in their archive facility for the next 300 years. The capsule contains an eclectic mix of texts and images along with a number of artifacts, and is scheduled to be opened on the 21st of March 2317. The children's television show Blue Peter have buried several time capsules during the program's run. Ones buried in London in 1971 and 1984 were opened in January 2000. A third was then buried to be opened in 2029 which has since been relocated to Salford, Greater Manchester. One was also placed under the Millennium Dome in London in 1998, to be opened in 2050, but was accidentally unearthed and damaged during construction work in 2017. It will be rebreed once it has been repaired. Southampton, Hampshire, a 1935 message in a lemonade bottle correctly portending difficult times lying ahead, was found in 2016 by masons restoring damaged Portland stone at Southampton Guildhall, United States, Waynesboro, Virginia, time capsule for Fishburne Military School to be opened in 2179, the school's 300th anniversary, Richmond, Indiana, time capsule placed in cornerstone of Imca in 1955. 
on the 15th of June 1957, as part of the celebration of the 50th anniversary of Oklahoma statehood, a 1957 Plymouth Belvedere car was sealed in an underground vault in Tulsa, to be unearthed 50 years later on the 14th of June 2007 during Oklahoma's centennial celebration. Several items were left in the car's trunk and glove compartment, such as a 5 US gallon can of gasoline intended to start the car. Should gasoline not be the fuel of choice for motor vehicles in 2007? A contest also took place, in which the contestant who came the closest to guessing the city population in 2007, would then be awarded the car and $100 in a savings account. Time capsule in Ghost Town, Centralia. Pennsylvania was to be opened in 2016 but was opened in 2014 instead. Within the time capsule was about 2 feet off water destroying most paper artifacts in the capsule. A miner's helmet and a pair of bloomers signed by the men living in the city at the time are among artifacts that remained. Crypt of Civilization in Atlanta. Georgia Westinghouse time capsules in New York City Helium Centennial Time Columns Monument in Amarillo. Texas Disneyland 40th Anniversary Time Capsule in Anaheim, California, to open in July 2035 Green, Wood Cemetery, Brooklyn, NY, a time capsule placed in a cornerstone in 1954 was found in January 2013 Salt Lake City, 78 S Main and 100 South, in 2012, a time capsule from the 25th of November. 1959 containing predictions for the year 2000 was found in the outside wall of the former First Federal Savings Bank Fort Collins, Colorado, in January 2013. A time capsule dated the 6th of June 1907 was found in a cornerstone of the building at 140 Oak Street Merrick Park time capsule in Coral Gables, Florida a 100 year old time capsule in the first Lutheran Church of Oklahoma City opened on the 23rd of April 2013, http, www.ohistory.org century chest and, http, colon slash slash, newsoc.com, slash a, slash q, slash 3791091, Detroit century box in Detroit, Michigan containing 56 letters from prominent citizens, sealed at midnight on the 31st of December 1900 and opened on the 31st of December 2000 in 1992. A time capsule was buried at Nickelodeon Studios containing items that kids considered important at the time. It was moved to the Nickelodeon Suites Resort Orlando in 2005 and later to the Nickelodeon Animation Studio in 2016, and will be opened in 2042. Time capsule in Court Lane, Idaho. Time capsule encased in cement at the entrance of the Miami-Dade County Courthouse. 73 W Flagler, St. Miami, Florida. To be opened on the 17th of September, 2087. The Samuel Adams and Paul Revere time capsule was found under the Golden Dome of the Massachusetts State House in December 2014. It is believed to have been buried in 1795 by then Governor Samuel Adams and Paul Revere, and contained newspapers, a Commonwealth seal, colony records, coins, a silver plate, and copper medal. It was uncovered, then added to and replaced, in 1855. Being 219 years old, it is the oldest time capsule to be discovered in the United States. On the 1st of September 1975, a time capsule was buried at the intersection of 7th and Main in Louisville, Kentucky to be opened in 100 years. A time capsule was buried in 1984 by patrons of the nightclub Bensateria, intended to be opened at the year 6984. It was instead uncovered by construction workers in 2017. On the 23rd of January 1991 a time capsule was placed in a sculpture at NASA Lewis Research Center, celebrating the 50th anniversary of the center's groundbreaking. The capsule is scheduled to be opened on the 23rd of January 2041. On the 14th of January 2000, Livermore, California buried two time capsules. Information at http colon slash slash www.lhg.org slash time one capsule may have been reburied from a previous burial time capsule of saint joseph school in mendham nj the largest time capsule in the world is located in seawood nebraska 
containing over 5,000 items, one of which is a Chevy Vega. It opens in July 2025. On the 1st of August 1969 Wayne Centennial Time Capsule was placed in Wayne, MI and is due to be opened on the 1st of August 2069. On the 3rd of September 2013 Perry Hall High School buried a time capsule on the occasion of the school's 50th anniversary. It is to be opened on the 3rd of September 2063. In August 2018 buried a time capsule on the occasion of the school's 50th anniversary. It is to be buried in Harbor Town on Hilton Head Island, South Carolina and opened in August 2068. Boulder, Colorado. The Courthouse Plaza at Pearl Street Mall has two time capsules. One to be opened in 2075, the other in 2096. In space, Apollo 11 goodwill messages, on the moon immortality drive, in the International Space Station Rosetta Disk prototype, on the Rosetta Space Probe Clark on Lagius 1 Arch Mission 1.2 on the Tesla Roadster in solar orbit, in cinema, 100 years, a film shot and produced in 2015 with release scheduled for 18 November 2115. It is being kept in a high-tech safe behind bulletproof glass that will open automatically on the film's premiere. In internet, Yahoo Time Capsule, open as yahoo.com 20th anniversary, projected, Keo Lansing Time Capsule, openings, dates of opening of already opened capsules, date location installation date 1957 Wall Street, New York City 1888 1966 Palatka. Florida the 26th of June 1905 1996 Perth Observatory, Perth, Australia the 30th of September 1896 the 7th of February 2001 Cocoa Beach, Florida, Howard Johnson Plaza Hotel the 5th of March 1987 February 2012 Salt Lake City, Utah 1959 July 2012 Volcani in the Yelizovsky District of Kamchatka 1979 January 2013 Greenwood Cemetery, Brooklyn, NY 1954 the 11th of January 2013 Fort Collins, Colorado Inca the 6th of June 1907 the 22nd of April 2013 Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. First Lutheran Church the 22nd of April 1913 February 2015 Cocoa Beach, Florida, Doubletree Hotel the 7th of February 2001 July 2018 Santa Clara, California, Intel Corporation 2003, Scheduled Openings, Scheduled Opening Dates for Already Installed Capsules, Opening Date Location Installation Date 2022-2003-22 Tequesta, Florida 2012 2022-2010-12 Natick Mall, Natick, MA, USA the 26th of April, 1994-2026 Hubbard, Ohio, Public Library Building 1976-2029 Near Main Library of Singapore Polytechnic, Singapore 2005 2037-2007-13 Goodhue County, Minnesota 2012 2037-2007-13 Alcatraz, California 1973 2037-2007 Life Center, Tampa, Florida 2012-2041 Santa Fe College, Gainesville, Florida the 17th of January 2017-2043 Santa Clara, California, Intel Corporation July 2018-2045-2008 Cocoa Beach, Florida 2009-2048-2009-27 Cocoa Beach, Florida Public Library 1998-2055-2001 Merrick Park, Coral Gables, Florida 2005-2062-2012 Bacardi Corporate Headquarters, Hamilton, Bermuda 2012-2063-2005-16 City Hall, Cape Canaveral, Florida 2013-2064 Project Mercury 1964-2067 Sunshine Coast Centenary on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia 2018-2068 Sea Pines Montessori Academy in Harbour Town, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina 2018. 2070 to 2005 
3rd through 9th in front of Dodge County Courthouse, Eastman, Georgia 1970-2073-2003-03 Goodhue County, Minnesota 2012-2075-2007 Cocoa Beach, Florida 2077-2003 Cape Canaveral, Florida 2092 Liberty Bell Museum, Melbourne, Florida 2094 Denver, Colorado, Denver International Airport the 19th of March 1994 2101 to 2102-02 Pierce, Florida Public Library 2001 2110 to 2109 Santiago, Chile the 29th of September 2010 2112 to 2111 27 American Podiatric Medical Association Headquarters, Bethesda, Maryland 27 November 2012 2112-2112-13 Bacardi Corporate Headquarters, Hamilton, Bermuda 2012-2012-13-2018. 2068, 2968 Helium Centennial Time Columns Monument Amarillo. Texas built in 1968 2317-2303-21 Durham County Record Office, Co. Durham, England 2017-2003-21-2999-2912-31 Chinook Center Calgary, Alberta, Canada 2000. Please subscribe Wiki Audio YouTube page below. Click notification or bell icon to get future videos uploaded as instant notification. And write your valuable comment, suggestion, feedback to improve in future videos. Check out channel page to get more videos and share this channel to your friends and relatives.